Alrighty. Let us see what we got going on. So, here we are with a battle. A meeting engagement battle. And we are in command of a battalion. Well, not a full battalion. It's a battalion with just two companies. You got A Company, which is taking anything over here. Yeah. A Company right here. Got A Company with, I think this third, yeah, third platoon, which is all these guys. And then you got second platoon, and then you got first platoon. Then over here we got B Company, which will take the right flank. We are playing as the U.S. Army against the German Army. Conditions are overcast with hot temperature, a uh, dry ground condition. So we shouldn't worry too much about our tanks getting bogged out. Shouldn't be that big of an issue. Or like, you know, getting stuck or whatever. Uh, wind is apparently heavy and it's coming from the south. Or it might be blowing south, I don't know. No, it just says from south. It's blowing from the south. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That is that. So, I'm gonna have A Company pretty much take the left, because we're gonna be battling for this point here in the middle. The German spawn is over here. Our spawn is over here. There's, like, this little ravine, road, canyon, whatever the hell you want to call this, valley goes through here. I guess a little ditch. And it comes over this way too, which then this leads to the German spawn area. I feel like they have a way easier access point just being able to drive down into here and go this way. So we might have some intense fighting with the Germans here. The Germans are actually in command of a Pretty much an equivalent force to ours, actually. The same amount of men, pretty much, like two companies up against our two companies. I think our men are actually experienced the same as well. And then each side has got one platoon of Sherman. Well, of tanks, I mean. I have a platoon of Shermans, you know. Got two and four Shermans right here, and then we got two more and four Shermans over here. The Germans should have four tanks as well, being Panzer IVs, uh, Panzer IV Hs, I think. That's what I gave them. I'm not sure if I gave them early models or if I gave them late models. But then we got each side also has got. Where's my observer for? Uh, I think he's right here. Yeah. Each side will have 105 millimeter howitzer battery to support so i'll be firing my 105 millimeter houncers right here in about a five minute delay so we'll kind of let the enemy push in a little and try to hold them here and just pound them up 105s we have got it set to a medium barrage and a medium duration so they won't expend all shells. They have 140 shells. 140 HE shells, and then they have 40 uh, smoke shells too. And then we got, well the Germans have actually equivalent to that as well. They have a battery of 105 millimeter guns too, so. We might get, you know, bombarded pretty, so I'm trying to get my guys, you know, mostly into tree lines and stuff, because trees are very protective. We got artillery I found in this game. Alright, this tree line is probably the best cover there is closest to us. And these trees. And then we got third platoon. Because this map has got a lot of hedgerows. I didn't bring any rhino Shermans. The Germans don't have anything to knock over the hedgerows. So, I mean, we're just going to deal with it. Make our way around it. So, we got third platoon. Gonna be the brave you know, platoon that they are, and they're gonna push over here. Third platoon is gonna actually push through this little gap. This is a little entryway for infantry. And push out here into the trees. While I think we have I 
think A Company. Yeah, the A Company HQ is just moving up. Provide cover, support, and stuff. We'll get guys crossing into this area too. I'll secure these buildings before the Germans can get on top of them. I do not want German troops securing the buildings and then these hedgerows like that. It's not good. And they'll just shoot my men from the side, and yeah, we're just gonna get fucked up. And then I'm pushing. We also got B Company moving into the trees over here. I hope they don't come under fire from the Germans. There's two Shermans pushing with them, too. And then we have 1st Platoon to move up to the hedgerow over there. I think they're being followed by 2nd Platoon. That's 3rd. 2nd oh, Platoon's pushing. Okay. So, yeah. And we got this platoon just pushing into the trees. We have... That's 1st Battalion HQ. Yeah, we got some of their boys pushing across to those buildings. And then we got 1st Platoon to move up. Which will probably do the same and end up pushing... Probably... gonna just probably push this squad across let's have them pause here for like 30 seconds so they can just have a break and then we're gonna have them just fucking hightail it straight across all right i think we're ready to start the battle now oh man this is gonna be a doozy here we go wait a minute okay I was gonna say, did I not give those Shermans orders? Not hearing any artillery. Which is good. I don't wanna hear artillery raining in. This Sherman. I have him pushing a little bit more into the tree so that way he doesn't. He doesn't get spotted, that's easy. Oh, I hear artillery. Dude, holy moly. Alright, third platoon. Get the f down. You guys are pushing straight into a barrage. Straight into a barrage. Let's get third platoon down and get them back. Oh, man. Second platoon. Stop moving. Just hold where you are. A company. Fuck all that bullshit, too. Like, damn, they're fucking hitting that area pretty hard right now, too. Uh, you guys, stop. Hold where you are, too. I think these guys might be okay. Might be a little bit... I don't know, though. I've seen Shrapnel fly pretty far. But we'll find out. These guys will be okay then if the artillery's pounding over there. Thank God it chose actually to hit there and not hit over here. Because look at the amount of guys moving through right here. If that battery of 105 millimeters would have hit over here, man, B Company would have had a horrific fucking day. I will just say. And they're already coming under fire too. What is that? It's like an MG. Sounded like an MG 42 or 32. I mean, 42 or 34. But from what? Back here? That's what I was a little bit worried about. Man. You better hightail it with that fucking Sherman, buddy. Holy fuck. That Sherman's all an ass through those trees right now. We're coming under a lot of fire over here. It's just not good. I don't know how you guys just fucking lived. Oh, this Sherman's opening fire. I spotted one of the Panzer IVs. There's fucking trees in the way, though. Yeah, there is an enemy tank right there. He's fucking chilling. What now? See what I mean? See what the hell I mean? 
There's batteries landing over here. A piece of shrapnel just flew right now and fucking nailed fucking Jackson right in the damn ass and killed him. Oh, it happened to hit the marksman too. Wow. How fucking lucky. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, that shrapnel was so lucky to fly fucking like 50 feet and nail him right in the ass. Shit, this observer just... That guy got killed. Okay, you guys just get your head down. Got them pushing for the... Alright, we got a lot of crowd movement right. A lot of crowd movement. Uh... Maybe I'm going to redirect the artillery. We do have this observer team. And I think they have eyes on the area over here. Or. We've got first platoon HQ. But I think they're denied by the artillery. I don't think they can call artillery. But I could be wrong. I just think they can't call the air support in. Is what it is. I think that's only left for like. Company HQs. Battalion HQs. And. Like, I think the more heavier ordinance is for battalion HQs and forward observers. Like, some things do require forward observers to actually call in. But not everything. And, I mean, I'm not really liking where my artillery is due to the fact that the enemy seems they're pushing a lot of movement to the right. So I think I'm going to try to adjust fire. Maybe I can just do it with this unit. What if I just, yeah, just mission area? Uh, fucking assholes, can't see over <laughs> Fucking A. Well, I've got two Shermans sitting here. I don't know, they haven't seen Germans moving. Yeah, I don't think these guys are gonna get eyes over there. Alright, let's cancel. Or. No, 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 no. We got buildings. We've got buildings. Wait, is there any windows in the attic? No. Damn. That artillery over there is delaying us. Oh, fucking nailed that damn son of a bitch. This Panzer IV just got hit. I don't know if we killed it. Doesn't look like it would probably cause some damage. Nope. Never mind, they might be They got out, and they're fucking done. Didn't get out quick enough. Gotta be quicker than that. That artillery is still hammering over there, dude. And I want to redirect my artillery fire. So we got B Company engaging like crazy right now. Look at the amount of guys just lined up here. That's great. Just unload on those bastards. So we're gonna move some guys down into there. I'm gonna get these guys actually pressing up here. Shermans are... Well, that Sherman's providing a lot of fire. This Sherman, I don't think, has seen anybody yet. I'm thinking about moving him. So we're laying a lot of fire down on those crowds. I think I'm actually going to move the rest of 2nd Platoon forward. Because I want to secure that dang wall. And fucking B Company is getting pinned. Are you serious? Get down. What do we got over here? Third platoon HQ. <sighs> oh my god. What the heck hit over here? Okay. Uh. Spotter, is he in position? He is in position. Okay, cool. Alright, Spotter. I need you to adjust fire mission. 
come on, man. Please tell me you can get a line of sight. Ah, fucking this tree. Is there no other good buildings either? Mm -mm. This one's not going to be able to see because the dang forest right here. Son of a gun. I mean, we could just leave it and just let it just roll out still and then just call in another one. I mean, could do that. I'm going to get these Shermans to move forward. Alright, someone's trying to shoot one of the guys in the fucking turret, so let's put you down. The Sherman spotted an enemy contact. I think he did. I think I seen the gun move. Dude, this artillery is still going. Whoa. I'm not sure what just happened there. But, uh. I need that to go away. Alright. Before you chaps, or you guys, you know, get having a fortune of turn of events. I mean, it seems you already are losing, guys. Let's uh, get. So, do I want to let these just fire? Or just cancel? Oh, man, I'm not sure. Check fire, check fire, check fire. Let's check the fire. He's fire. This guy's got two casualties down. Roger, checking fire in the yeah, Two guys fucking down. Spread these guys out a little bit more. Are you fucking kidding me, man? One of those panzers. Those houncers, bro, they're still firing. Alright, you guys. Can you... Uh, stupid hedgerow right there, see. Fucking A, man. What about you? Oh, yes. Please tell me. Oh, thank the heavens. Well, look at that. I like that. 400, or 400, four guns. Uh, let's rain hell. <laughs> four guns, heavy barrage. You know what? I'm noticing it's going to be a 12 minute delivery, though. 12 minute delivery, we got to plan this pretty strategic. So, in about 12 minutes from now, the enemy's probably going to take in about most of this area. So I'm going to hammer it 260 meter area. Well, 260. Well, 262 area. Four guns. We want a heavy bombardment. Should we do long or should we do medium? I think we should do long because I don't think I'm going to really call these guns out again. And I mean, that's not even going to expend all the ammo. It will expend probably about three quarters of it, but then we'll do immediate. Confirm. So 12 minutes. It will be delivering. That's quite a wait, but we'll just have to hold the crouts here for 12 minutes. How big was that area? I mean, it was 262. I just want to see how far it reached. Okay, so it reaches the hedgerow here and here. So I don't want to put guys there. It's safe to move up into here, though. In my opinion. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, so they'll stay there to call that out. We've suffered some casualties behind the hedgerows here too. Which is not fucking good. We've got, I think, a guy down over here somewhere too. Yeah. Is there any way through the hedges here? To 
get down into like the, the road below. I just want to see. There's got to be an entry point somewhere on this side. The only one cannot be down to the right. I, I don't believe that. This looks... I think it's just a little bit of a bug. I don't think right there is one. Maybe there, but I don't know. Doesn't look like any points to cross through. There's probably one like here somewhere, but that's just too risky. So they I don't think they've stopped firing the artillery yet. They're still going. Alright, all of third platoon, just keep your heads down. All of you guys, just keep your heads down. Fucking second platoon, just start crawling this way. I don't want so many guys bunched up over here, and I don't want... Now we're gonna start getting you guys moving up more. Oh, man, once this barrage ends, third platoon is hauling ass all the way up here. I need to secure the high ground over here. Wait a minute. Why did you push here? Did I not stop you or did I send you here like oh man my dumbass I'll take the blame on that one all right let's get the Sherman moved so I got two Shermans here I would like to bring them infantry I was about to say, did their barrage finally end? Nope. It's still going. And I don't know why I moved you guys over here. Yeah, I remember moving them. Damn, dude, that was a dumbass fucking call by me. That was one dumb call. Fucking... Man, they're pushing pretty far, right? Head over here. Man, they are still going with that artillery. It's just not stopping. All right. Fuck it, well, this is your chance. I want to move up to those dang Sherman tanks. With this platoon. Get moved up. These tanks need infantry support. We got movement in the little fucking valley down there maybe the artillery should have just fired over there but fuck it I like the better call I the new call it's a little bit better so there's a lot of movement over here something just tried nailing over here no I did not There's an entry point right there. We need to secure that. I'm gonna slug you guys there. Face that direction. I might back this Sherman up to join the other one up here, but I'm not sure. We've spotted Krauts over here, too. A lot of them. Okay, did their artillery finally stop? Is it done? 
I think it's done. Fucking haul ass. Like, you never hauled ass before. Bring that sniper up. Bring them up. Alright. Is there an entryway? Yep, there is, brother. Oh, look at that. This platoon and those two tanks right here are open fire now. Crap bastards. Alright. What do we got here? Second platoon of A Company. Let's get you guys pushed out here. Might be a risky task, but I really don't. I don't think any task right now is not risky. Or, actually, I think the right flank is held enough. Second platoon will go and support third platoon and the rest over here. Because there is a lot of fucking tank. Or there's a tank moving over there and a lot of infantry has been spotted. I'm going to put them on pause so that way we don't have everybody just running across at one time. Put these guys on pause for 15. Oh, wait. I think I did that reverse. I think I was supposed to. Yeah, yeah. Whoopsie daisy. That's better. Alright. And then they'll move. And then they'll move. Bad oh, boy. We're going to get into an intense fight with a lot of Germans over here. I mean, I got a lot of guys in the buildings over here, but... I'm gonna have this team push... Secure this building instead. We'll keep you guys here to keep an eye on the, the forest. We'll keep the operations team in here to secure the objective. I'm gonna push this breach team. Let's put them in this building. And instead, we'll put... You guys in this building. Now I'm going to bring this 30 cal machine gun to the second floor of this building, too. The problem is, is I have zero tank support over here. The nearest tanks are in here, and they can't get over there without going down in here and then making a left. But we have spotted infantry in here, and I think we've also seen a tank down here, too, somewhere. Yeah, right there. So, yeah. I don't think we're pushing through there. Oops. I think what I'm going to try to do is get a company, though, into this building. As well as this team. Over there. I'm gonna try to get more bodies on that. This these buildings over here basically. So they'll take up the second floor of that building. Maybe move them. And then this marksman. Mm. Kinda like in this building, but it's also a little vulnerable. Could try to get them into there, maybe. Let's see if I can. It'll probably be a risky task, but we'll just fucking try it. By then, their third platoon will probably have moved up, so. Let's get third platoon to push here. I do not want those damn crowds moving through here and flanking us. So third platoon is going to be the ones to engage these guys. I just noticed there's an entry point right there too. Over 
right? I did forget to move these dudes. Uh, let's put them into teams because I don't want them getting shot up badly. I'll leave the other two teams back. Could even actually move them to the wall right here. But they could probably provide... Very good cover. There we go. Yep, we got crowds pushing all the way to the right over here. I really don't know what the heck they're trying to do, but they're really trying to flank us right now. Keep them there to hold that. Crowds have spotted my guys down here. What are you doing standing up, Jim? Get your head the fuck down, man. Just stands up. He's like, ah, I'm good. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling, man. I'm like, no, you ain't. And shadow is what you use. So yeah, we're firing on enemies down, down in here. Alrighty. I would love it if I could get one Sherman down into here, but that's just not happening. What the heck was that? Oh yeah, we're engaging with crowds over here now. Oh, we're engaging with them fucking heavy. Tell me we have a T somewhere. Nope. I do over here though. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Let's move, let's move. I'm gonna flank this motherfucking tank. Shit. There is a lot of crowd infantry. I don't even think we need the artillery over there anymore. I think we need it over here. Holy moly. Uh. But I don't think this guy even has a line of sight over here. That's a thing. Oh, no, he does not. I did not see this fucking coming. All right, let's ambush him. Split into three sections. No oh, shit, are they firing artillery on us again? I've seen that. I've fucking seen it. And I'm telling you, I don't like it. Oh, what in the world? Look at this fucking crackhead pushed up here. Pushed right in the face of my two Sherman tanks. Good job. That's another Panzer IV down. Two to go. And put some fucking pain on them bastards. Oh shit, man. Shit is intensifying now. Any way to cross through here? And then there's one down here. Let's take it. Uh, 
Oh my. We got 3rd and 2nd platoon of A Company doing their best to hold over here and support the men that are in the buildings. Holy fucking, what is her? Oh my dear, dude. Uh. Well. Please don't tell me that's mine. No, mine's spotting. So mine is not firing. Mine is spotting. Oh shit, man. And everyone just get the fuck down. That's all you guys can do. There's no moving. Okay, that looked like it exploded even more. So yeah, they're getting hit pretty bad. Uh, split into three teams. Machine gunner. No, no, no. Not second floor. First floor. These guys have AT. Immediately, I'll launch you then over here. Immediately, I want another team in this building. And I suppose we could move you into here, maybe, too. That 30 gun cow gun team. Man, we have lost everyone inside that house, actually. Oh boy. Alrighty. Keep your heads down. Fucking A. That artillery's killing a lot. You won't know, fuck these bastards. Get the hell in there. We're not letting them get to that hedgerow. We will not let them get through. That guy's fucking dead. Fucking damn, that tank needs to go. Somebody with AT fucking kill him. You have AT. There he is, he's on the move, he's on the move. Yep, yep, I see that. I fucking see that indeed, he's right there. Someone please, oh, someone tried to fucking hit him, but they missed. Someone please just hit this bastard while he's moving. Are you serious, the one guy with the fucking rocket launcher gets nailed? What luck for us. Well, we got a Panzer IV pushing. Somewhere. I don't know where exactly he's going. Man, we have killed a lot of Germans. So he's looking this way. I think he's trying to support his infantry, infantry over there. Pull this section back, or this squad back. Artillery's firing. We knocked that Panzer IV out. 
Fuck yeah, dude. I'm securing this fucking position. This building. I really wish I could adjust that mission. Cease fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need that artillery. And you know what? I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, but let's get second platoon. Who is this? First platoon. Let's get first platoon. Get your boys. On this motherfucking. Hedra right here. There we go. Let's return the objective off. Make it a little bit more better looking. This Panzer is still alive. I think that's the last tank. Each of us only had four tanks. I think that's their last one. Man, someone needs to smoke this damn Panzer four. So End of the fire mission. I'm going to use this observer team to just call it in. Screw it. 105s are going to rain hell on the end. fucking Germans over here. We want four guns. Let's just do emergency maximum. What was that, man? Alright, I think these guys are honestly good now. Move you. I'm getting off this fucking damn hedgerow. I'm getting down into here because we're gonna move this platoon, flank them through here, and I'm gonna bring them through up here. And then I wish there was a path I could or get through over here. If I had a rhino sherman, I could just bust the hedgerow down and just get there, but. Got that. I hear that 50 cal spin up. It's always beautiful. Waiting for the emergency artillery to come in. I think we're mostly bringing this to an end. I don't know why I won't let him adjust. I want to move him over here. I mean, honestly, I don't think we really need the artillery. I think we got this in the bag. Bring this platoon. I 
I don't really think we need the artillery, but I'm still going to call it anyways to just come and finish them off. Shall we hit right there? Oh, that is beautiful there. That's way better. Alright. Let's have it just hit there. Should we do emergency? Alright. So they're gonna be coming in. I think it's actually cut in half when it comes to using an actual, like, Ford Observer. I think it actually cut the time in half by f 7 minutes. So it'd be 14 minutes to deliver you. It's like 7 minutes. I don't think the Germans have much left to continue fighting, really, for very longer. Much longer. Just get these guys to secure this little position right here, and then we're done over there. This unit just came under a lot of fire right there. Okay, yeah, because, you know, the smartest fucking thing is to run straight into the opening. Thank you, morons. They're running towards the enemy. That boy. Alright, bring this platoon in. Are you kidding? That tank. How is it even alive still is what I want to know. Like how... We've not killed it. How has this Sherman not really done anything? That's what I would like to know. Fucking tank. Look at the guys, the amount of guys that killed right here. Holy shit, dude. Oof. And he's just chilling right here. Nope. U.S. Army total victory. 245 of my men are still alive, with 32 of my men killed, 26 of my men wounded. I kept all my tanks. The enemy, on the other hand, had 57 men still alive, with 113 killed, uh, 87 wounded, three tanks lost, and one tank left. I also won by securing ground. We secured the objective. I also won by inflicting a lot of enemy casualties, which ultimately just forced the Germans into a surrender because they, as you saw, only had 50, like, one guys left or something like that. Well... I didn't expect them to push pretty heavily over here. Man, they had a lot of guys. Pretty much their entire left of the force was over here. But man, we actually hit them pretty hard. They didn't really have the best cover. They really only had trees. What they should have done was honestly... How did they get this tank even over here? I've seen the tank moving across the field over here, but how the hell did you even get it in here is my question. Like, he must have drove the tank through here, then drove it over here, and then drove it up. I have no idea. It's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, their artillery at the beginning was something else, and then the artillery that hit over here did actually cause a lot of damage. I did kill quite a few guys, and I ended up having to move these dudes back. Good thing I did, because this position got hit pretty bad, too. Man. And those pants pushed up. 
But without the support of infantry, so he got messed up. I'm guessing one of these Shermans was the... Yeah, there's this Sherman. This thing killed 22 infantry soldiers. Or 22 enemies. And then destroyed a tank. Pretty damn good. And then, yeah, setting up over here was actually a good you know, thing, too. The Germans tried to go for a lot of flanking in this, it looked like. They tried to flank left and right. But, yeah. I wasn't expecting them to flank this way as heavily as they did. And over here, I thought they were saying a shit ton of guys, but then I guess not. I don't know. I wish we could have got a better use out of our artillery, but it's whatever. We still got the job done, so it's all good. That will be the end of this battle. I hope you enjoyed the first quick battle for that I've done for combat mission battle for Normandy. Well, not my first first battle, but first battle I've uploaded for this game. But yeah, damn good battle. Hope you enjoyed watching. It was fun to play. We'll do more. That'll be more like this or more intense. But yeah, hope you enjoyed.